So in this video, we are interested in comparing these two values and finding the percentage change here. We have the sales person here, the sales for January and the sales for February. Then here we're going to find the percentage increase or decrease. If there's an increase in percentage, we're going to show it in green using conditional formatting. And if there's a decrease in percentage, we're going to show it in red. So let's see how we can do that. So we're going to start by finding the percentage change. So I'll go in this column and I'll say equals. Just open the brackets here because I'll divide at some point. So I'll say this latest value minus the initial value. We'll cross the brackets then divide everything by the initial value. So this is the formula for percentage change. Just press enter and we have our value there. I'll just drag this one all the way up to the end. There we have it. Once I have everything selected, I'll turn it into percentage by going to the number formats here and I'll just click on percent. Then I'll increase the number of decimal places by clicking on this one, one, two, like that. So here already we can see the percentage change for each of these cells. There was an increase here, a decrease, there was no change here, and so on. And to make it easily noticeable, we are going to use conditional formatting to show all this increase in green and all this decrease in red. So to do that, I'll just select this entire column like so. Then here I'll choose where it says conditional formatting, then I'll click new row. On these options, I'll choose the last one so that we can use the formula. So we click on it, and in here we're going to put our formula. So I'll just select here, and make sure that you get rid of this dollar between the G and the 5. Then I'll say this should be greater than 0. So if this is greater than 0, meaning it's positive, we want to change the font color. So we'll go to Format, and first of all, we'll make the font to be bold. And here where it says Color, we'll click the drop down and choose this green here. You click OK and you click OK and you can see all our increase are in green like that. I'll select this column once more and I'll go back to conditional formatting. I'll click new rule. Again I'll use the formula here and inside here we're going to choose the same cell here. Then this time around we'll say it should be less than zero meaning it should be negative. Again, get rid of this dollar between the G and the 5. Then we go to format. We want to show this in red. Again, it will be bold. But the color this time around will be this red here. You click OK. Again, you click OK. And boom, you have your values like that. Now, as soon as you look at this table, you are able to see that everything in red was a decrease and everything in green was an increase. It makes it easy to look at your data like that. If you like content like this one, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to learn more about Excel, I have a free beginner tutorial. That video is up here and I'll meet you there.